Hey guys and welcome back to Route 1. I'm Jay and today we've got something a little bit spicy for you all. Today I'm going to be reacting to the Pokemon Nintendo Direct that's going live in a, just a couple of minutes. Just to talk to you guys before the live stream happens, it's meant to be all about Pokemon Arceus, Pokemon Shining Pearl, and Brilliant Diamond, or Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. I can't quite remember the names. Shame on me. <laughs> what are my thoughts going into this? Well, I'm hoping for better graphics for the Pokemon Arceus game. I understand people were really annoyed when the first video of it came out and saying, oh, the graphics aren't done. But you've got to remember, like, these games are still being developed, and I'm pretty sure when the game does come out eventually, it's going to look absolutely amazing. I think people can be really harsh on games when they show the first trailer, or the first cinematic trailer, or the first look of a game, because they're still in progress. Like, when most games show early game footage, it's still in early development, and I don't think we should judge them too harshly on what they currently show us. It's only to give us a flavour, an example of what we can expect. Not just the, the gameplay and the Pokemon, but also the mechanics as well. I'm really, really hyped for it. I'm also hyped for Diamond and Pearl Remake as well because I never played those games growing up, so it's going to be completely fresh to me. And I think I, I want to play them for the channel, hopefully, if, if I have time, obviously. If I don't play them, I'm pretty sure Joey's going to play them. Either way, I'm very hyped for the games coming up. Once I've watched the live stream, obviously I'll give my thoughts on it and if it's going to change my mind or possibly even improve my thoughts on, on the games coming out. It's all very, very exciting stuff. And hopefully you guys are very excited for these games coming out. All right, I've waffled on for too long. Let's get into this live stream and check out the Pokemon Nintendo Direct. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. Today, I'm happy to share with you our latest updates on a number of games. First, we'd like to share some news about Pokemon's first strategic team battle game, Pokemon Unite. Ah, oh, Pokemon Unite. A very good things. The Nintendo things. Switch version of the game has already been released. And the Not really had time to, to play it though, but it looks pretty cool. Second. In anticipation of the mobile version launch, pre-registration has begun today on the App Store and Google Play Store. Nintendo Switch and mobile device users can play together in Pokemon Unite. We hope as many people as possible will be able to enjoy playing it together. Players will also receive special gifts... So could you only play on Pokemon Unite locally beforehand? Thanks to a special campaign happening now. We hope you'll all pre-register and look forward to the <laughs> mobile release. Players who are quick to jump in with the Nintendo Switch version that has already been released can also receive Zera Aura's Unite license as a launch bonus. The Unite license can also cool. be used in the mobile version by linking accounts. And finally, I'd like to give you all a preview of some of the Pokémon that are slated to join in future updates. Nice. It's cool look, Mama Swine. Sylveon? That was alright. <laughs> look forward to more from Pokemon right, Unite in the future. Now, I'd like to share some news about a few of our other games. Alright, come on. Oh. I guess these are some of the app, app, Pokemon app games. Pokemon Cafe Mix is getting a revamp, and with it, a new title. Pokemon Cafe Remix. The puzzles have been refreshed with the addition of new elements with which you can mix, link, and blast puzzle icons. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all these are just phone app games. And new dress up options. 
you'll also find more ways of growing and developing your staff Pokémon, so this renewed puzzle game is sure to be something that can be enjoyed for years to come. That's cute, though. Pokémon Cafe Remix will open its doors this fall. Pokémon Masters EX. EX celebrates its two-year anniversary. Dynamaxing is here. Cygnusuit Leon has arrived, and he's partnered up with Eternatus. Team up with brothers Leon and Hob to face Eternatus in the legendary event currently underway. To celebrate the two-year anniversary of Pokemon Masters EX, players will get the chance to scout up to 100 Let me know down in comments what, Plus, what this game is. Is it mobile app, Switch, Switch game? Legendary Pokemon. N will be returning in a special outfit as part of a Master Sync pair. N and his Pokemon are able to target all opponents with their attacks. Look forward to seeing N as well as other two-year anniversary sync pairs soon. Then, starting in September, the hey. story arc unfolds. Villainous organizations are stirring once more as the story takes a darker turn. You won't want to miss it. We have plenty of other events and exciting content planned as well. So come join us in celebration of this special anniversary. Okay. Also, if you log into the game after this presentation, you can receive a present of 3,000 gems as our newest campaign begins. You won't want to miss it. Ooh, Pokemon Go, okay. Pokemon Go, which is celebrating its fifth anniversary, nice. will have Pokemon that were first discovered in the Galar region appearing in the Yes! World. The Ultra Unlock Part 3 Come on, give me event will begin on August 20th, 2021 at 10 a.m. local time. Players can look forward to seeing Wooloo, Squavit, and Phalanx. Nice in two, two days' time. The legendary Pokemon Zacian and Zamazenta will also be appearing in cool. five star Cool, cool. It seems that the sudden appearance of Pokemon originally discovered in the Galar region has something to do with the mischievous tricks of a certain mythical Pokemon. Be sure to take part Ah, so that'll explain the current the loading screen on Pokemon Go at the moment. Your adventures in the real world will only continue to grow in Pokemon Go. All right. Let's catch some Gen 8s. Next up. We have some news about the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl games. Alright, here we go. Main event. Or co-main event. Hello there, it's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Your very own tale of grand adventures is about to unfold. I said to Joey, this looks so much like Animal Crossing. Like I said earlier, I've never played a game before, but I'll be definitely playing playing this remake. What starter do you think I should choose when I play this? I'm guessing that's Probably one of the first gyms, if not the first gym. What's that? Union room. So I'm guessing that's like so you can trade. Cause my ooh. Well, 
We got Rock Band in this. Pokemon Rock Band. Explore Kit. That's a lot of mini games. Let me know if they have some of it in the original. Oh, those stacks are cool. I can see why people are disappointed because like they were expecting like the Gen 8 type of gameplay in this, which wouldn't really nice, but I mean it, it looks good so far. Team Galactica, Team Galactic took my Pokemon away. They took other people's. So showing off Team Galactic. I'm guessing that was the leader of Team Galactic. Oh, Cynthia! Time, space. Now all will end and everything will begin. Dialga and Palkia? Ooh, what, what version should I get then? Or should I wait until... No, I can't wait until both, there's both games in one because Pokemon doesn't do that. Oh, okay, which game should I get? The release of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl is now just three months away. Let's review the main points of these revitalized games. Okay, so what was the re so they're basically going to say After what their reasoning years, was? Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl have been reborn into Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. Venture the Sinnoh region. Region. This adventure takes place in the Sinnoh region. Sinnoh, not Sinnoh. Of land rich in nature with towering Mount Coronet at its heart. As the protagonist, you'll adventure across the region. Catching wild Pokemon and making new friends as you strive to complete your Pokedex. Along with your partner Pokemon, you'll overcome the gym leaders of each area and aim to become the champion. <coughs> you'll also encounter traces of the Sinnoh region's myths, passed down through the generations, and unravel the truth behind their mysteries. I'm not sure I'm many people are saying, we already know this! This is Professor Rowan who entrusts you with a Pokemon. He's a famous professor researching Pokemon evolution. What a mustache on that man. This is your childhood friend and rival. He hones his skills as a Pokemon trainer through your friendly rivalry. Rourke is one of the gym leaders you'll take on during your journey. He uses rock type Gym leader Pokemon. Rourke, okay. Everywhere you look, Team Galactic is up to something. There appears to be some sort of lofty goal behind all their audacious activity. Cynthia is investigating myths about Pokemon. She's a mysterious person who shows up at many points mm. along your journey. Sinnoh region is even, is even more fun. From Pokemon Diamond okay, I just Pokemon noticed Pearl that the map on the top, top left. And powered up for these new games. In the Grand Underground, you can participate in a number of activities, such as digging up fossils or creating your own secret base and decorating it with Pokemon statues. Huh. There are also places down there called Pokemon Hideaways, which didn't exist in Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl. Apparently, the Pokemon that appear in the Pokemon Hideaways will change depending on which statues you have placed in your secret base. Ooh, it seems okay. that some of the Pokemon living in the Sinnoh region can only be found in this place. So be sure to fully explore the Grand Underground spread out beneath the surface of Sinnoh. Okay, that looks good. You can use the stickers you'll collect on your adventure to customize the effects that appear when Pokemon spring out of Pokeballs. Oh, that's a, that's a nice, nice addition. Fireworks. By collecting stickers at various locations along your journey and decorating with them, you can make your Pokemon battles even more fun. 
So is it multiple effects you can add to each Pokeball? Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl is the ability to change your outfit. Wear your favorite styles on your adventure. Mm. In Super Contest shows, your Pokemon can dance to the rhythm of the music, <laughs> proudly show off a contest move, and aim for a successful show. Cooperate with your partner Pokemon to really work up the crowd. So what's the re re reward for the playing that? Room, this release allows you to use not only local communication, but also online communication to interact with trainers all over the world in real time. Please enjoy battles and Pokemon trades okay. with many other trainers. You can walk around with nice. any Pokemon that appear in these games. Enjoy your I love that they added that from the Sword and Shield Pokemon. DLC. Such a good idea. Encounters with all kinds of people and Pokemon and the mystery behind Sinnoh's myths await you. We hope you look forward to starting an exciting adventure with new gameplay features in the Sinnoh region. Yep, yeah, all looks good to me. Please wait just a bit longer for the start of your adventure. But that's not all. A special Nintendo Switch Lite Dialga and Palki edition will also be released to celebrate the launch of these. Oh, games. nice. Oh, well, Garrett, though. This special Nintendo Switch Lite is dressed up with art of the legendary Pokemon. Very happy with my standard Switch, but oh, those designs are really nice, though. This Lite Onyx Dialga and Palki edition that was released back in 2006 to align with the original game's launch. It will be available to purchase beginning November 5th, 2021. Look forward to it. Next, we have some information for you about the Pokemon Legends Arceus. Yes, come on. Which is being so what I'm most excited for, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Syndical, Rowlet, Oshawa. I wonder why I decided to choose those starters in this game. This is a tale of a long time ago when humans... I'm crap at reading when it comes to reading stuff on screen, because it takes me a little bit longer. <laughs> There's weasels. God of War. Nice. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, that looks so cool. Very Breath of the Wild, and it looks like you get to your star Pokemon to potentially follow you as well, or your just Pokemon to follow you, maybe. Oh, so the bottom left. Okay, good thing to know. Oh, it's a Gla Growlithe variant. Very Breath of the Wild. Oh! Wonder if you get to choose where to fly and swim. So there will be certain areas of the map that you get to travel to and from, like with Sword and Shield with the flying taxis, or will these be like Pokemon dependent? So if you catch a certain Pokemon, you can say like fly or. Oh, 
Oh no, Pokemon are taking revenge out on the human populace. Strong style. Agile style. This all looks just so good. So will that be the area you potentially find Arceus, maybe? Interesting si Aww. Uh, so that'll be the end game, is to make your way to the top of that mountain since it looks red and where the virus or something controlling the Pokemon. That was the latest trailer for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Mm -hmm. Let's take a closer look at some of the elements introduced in the all right, video. Alright, nice, nice. Come on. Give me, give me all the information. Legends Arceus is a brand new title that opens new doors for the Pokemon series by fusing action with RPG elements. Your adventure takes place what type that growl it would be during a long ago era when it was rare for people to the live in Pokemon. Mount Coronet towers over the center of the land, with sprawling, diverse, natural environments surrounding the mountain on all sides. Hey, These different areas are home to a rich variety of Pokemon ecosystems. In the future, this land of Hisui will come to be known Hisui, as yeah. the Sinnoh region. You'll set out on an adventure with the goal of completing the first ever Pokedex for the Hisui region. Nice. Jubilee Village and the Galaxy Expansion the Team. Jubilee Village will be the base for your adventures. It's home to the Galaxy Expedition Team, made up of people from various other regions. With divisions such as the Medical Corps, the Security Corps, and the Survey Corps, which researches Pokemon. So it looks like you get a like, bunch of different quests to do at the same time, potentially. Pokemon. He came to the Hisui region along with Pokemon he met in various other regions. He entrusts one of these Pokemon to you. Oh, which one would I choose? Is the leader of the Survey Corps. Though she may seem to treat you harshly, deep down she's your biggest supporter, and she watches over your progress with care. Commander Komodo oversees the entire Galaxy team. He's a dependable leader who has earned the unwavering trust of his it's team cool members. Outfit. When the commander recognizes your knack for Pokemon research, he allows you to join the team and has you work as a member of the Survey Corps. I'll see your character's name's Ray. The duty of the Survey Corps is to observe and catch Pokemon to shed light on how they live. Your survey duties hold the key to unlocking the true purpose of your adventure, and in the course of your work, you'll visit various locations within the Hisui region. Your excursions outside the village will begin by preparing at a base camp. At these camps, you'll be able to prepare for your survey work by buying items or crafting new ones from basic materials. Oh, what was that Pokeball? In the Hisui region, you'll find that you'll be vulnerable to attacks from wild Pokemon. Yeah. Take too much damage from their attacks, and you'll black out. So use caution when you're out doing your survey work. When your Pokemon are hurt, you can return to a base camp to rest up and recover. Well, it's good to see Pokemon at attack you, rather than just go straight into a battle. That's quite a nice and interesting, interesting piece to add. live all over the place. Get close to them and aim carefully, then throw a Pokeball to try to catch them. You'll find that not all species of Pokemon react the same way when they spot you. For example, some Pokemon will immediately flee, so you'll want to hide in tall grass when you approach them. Aggressive Pokemon, on the other hand, may need to be weakened in battle. There are a variety of tricks to catching them all. 
Alright, Pokemon battles. Containing one of your own Pokemon near a wild Pokemon, yep. and a battle will begin. You'll find that a single Pokemon may get to act multiple times in a row, depending on its speed stat and the moves that it uses. You can also choose to have Pokemon use their moves in two different styles, Strong Style and Agile Style. Using a move in the Strong Style will increase the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be lowered. Using a move in the Agile style will decrease the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be raised. You'll find the Strong style will come in handy when you see a chance to end a battle with one powerful move, while the Agile style is great for situations where acting multiple times in a row will give you So I suppose this is similar to the moves. Rapid Strike and Single Strike in Sun and Shield and the TCG. When you report the results of your survey work to the professor, information will be added to the Pokedex. You can advance your research and fill in more information by doing things like catching Pokemon, seeing them use certain moves multiple times, and more. Seek out and meet lots of different Pokemon to complete that Pokedex. So there's a lot more research going into trying to complete the Pokedex, now, not just like capturing a Pokemon. Some of the Pokemon living in the rich, natural environments that are spread out across the Hisui region. This Pokemon with distinctive antlers is known as Weirdeer. Weirdeer evolves from a Stantler that has managed to live in the harsh, natural environment of the Hisui region. It has strong ties with the local people, and it has been treated with great care and respect in this land since ancient times. So I'm guessing all these are new Pokemon. Made with the fur shed from its beard, tail, and legs are highly prized as warm winter clothing. This Pokemon is Basculegion. Basculegion. Swim with great power. Evolve from Basculin. Even the Hisui region can evolve into this Pokemon if they become possessed by the restless souls of other Basculin in their school that have perished during their journey upstream. That's this a bit dark. Pokemon gains power from the souls possessing it, letting it swim on and on without tiring. There are also Pokemon that can be found living in this land in forms that have adapted to the environment of the Hisui region. This Pokemon with its great Hisuian bravery is the Hisuian form of Braviary. Braviary. It comes to Hisui in the winter and can imbue its screeches with psychic power to generate shockwaves. Cool. This Pokemon oh, look is, at it, is the Hisuian form of Growlithe. It is a very wary Pokemon and appears to protect its territory. Hisuian Growlithe's soft fur is an excellent insulator, allowing it to stay active and lively even in this chilly land. The horn on its head is made of rock, but it breaks easily, so Hisuian Growlithe uses it only when it'll have the greatest effect. So it's a rock Pokemon then? The Pokemon Arceus holds the key to this story, but what connection does it have to your adventure? We hope you look forward to finding out on the day when you can finally meet the people and Pokemon of the Hisui region for yourself. Oh, it all looks so good. <laughs> it looks so good. Those were our latest updates on these new entries in the Pokemon series. Pre-orders for Pokemon Legends Arceus Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl will become available on Nintendo eShop after this broadcast. Nice. So November 9th and January 28th. We also have to announce that support for these titles is planned to come to Pokemon Arceus. Yes. Nintendo Switch incompatible mobile devices. Good, good. Keep an eye on our upcoming announcements for further details. As for the ranked battles that so many of you continue to enjoy, these will take place as before in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. We hope you all have fun. Ranked battles will not take place in, in play Okay. In the Those are all the latest updates we can share with you today. We hope you're looking forward to all the exciting. Oh, looking so forward to, to it. Thank you all for tuning in and watching. All right. Okay, so yeah, there was quite a lot of information in that. I think the Diamond and Pearl remix they were quite self-explanatory. As I said, I've not played I've not played that game, so I'm not sure what they've added since this remake is coming out. Apart from the mine and like the customizable things you can do in your camp, 
your underground camp. But yeah, look like Diamond and Pearl looks looks good. I'm not sure which version I'm gonna get. I might ask Jack and Joey, we're like, what's what's a better version? I'm not too sure on what exclusive Pokemon are gonna be gonna be in what game. Pretty much want to go into it as blind as I can. With Pokemon Legends Arceus, it looks really really cool they're definitely going for a certain style with this which i really like and it's it's going to be very hit or miss with a lot of people i think but for me the, the art style and the direction looks looks really cool i'm not too hyped on the starters i think they could have chosen a lot better starters for you to for you to use i might go with cyndaquil but I don't know, I'll let, I'll let it stew in my brain. But overall, the, the game looks really cool. There's loads for you to do. Um, I'm quite fascinated with the whole doing loads more research into getting a Pokemon and finding out what food it's into and what sort of habitat it lives in. I find that is really, really interesting to me. I'm hoping for a, a few more variants of Pokemon and new, like more new editions of Pokemon as well. But the, the variations look really cool. Growlithe looks so cute, oh my god. <laughs> I did also notice that you can select your Pokemon to battle in the bottom left corner as well. I think it's a lot more quicker way than going into a menu and deciding, okay, which Pokemon is going to go first in battle or whatever. Instead, this time you can literally scroll along to your desi desired Pokemon. I'm not sure how many Pokemon you're allowed to carry. Maybe it's six. Maybe we're going for the old school type of thing where you store or have Pokemon somewhere else. Like Joey said, maybe there's a farm that like you can keep the rest of your Pokemon. You just go in and out and pick and choose whichever Pokemon you want. The story looks quite fascinating as well. We're trying to find out what's happening with these Pokemon, why they're being taken over. It reminds me of Horizon Zero Dawn when the animal robots were being, co being controlled by this virus and you had to try and find out uh, more about this virus and you know, try and eradicate it. It does remind me a lot in that way, but I think the, the story is really intriguing and does make me obviously want to find out what the heck is happening in, in this region. From the looks of it as well, there is only one town. There's no gyms, there's nothing like that in this game, which is quite understandable. So it makes me wonder what else they've got to replace that. When I was talking in the video about uh, riding on all these different Pokemon, whether that be for running, flying, or surfing, I'm not sure if you need to actually catch these Pokemon or whether they'll be in different spots so you can then travel around. Looks like a good cast of characters or side characters, B, B characters that you'll meet along your journey as well. I do get Breath of the Wild vibes. I've, I've not played Breath of the Wild. I'm not a big Nintendo guy apart from when it comes to Pokemon, but I do get such a Breath of the Wild vibe. And it's, it's really cool. Um, an open world Pokemon game, a true open world Pokemon game, I dig it. I dig it. I can definitely get. I can definitely get behind it. Obviously, I want to see more, and I imagine before the game comes out, they'll probably do another Pokemon Direct, or at least another trailer, which I hope. Which I hope would do. Just explain a bit more, or just give us more insight or a look into the world that we're going to be playing. Like, I'm not too fussed about the mechanics. We'll learn about the mechanics when we play the game, or we'll learn more about the mechanics when we play the game. But more just about the world itself and the different areas, because. The map looked absolutely gi gigantic and I think the only way to properly go to all these different places is to have those Pokemon to fly, to run, to surf, to get around. It's kind of like with Sun Shield and previous games, you had the bike. But I am very, very excited to check out what this game's all about. Both the mechanics, the story and just seeing what Pokemon in general are in this game. Let me know your thoughts down below on what you think of the Diamond and Pearl remakes as well as Pokemon Legends Arceus. Are you excited for them? Are you not? What Pokemon are you looking forward to seeing and catching in the Pokemon Legends game? What Pokemon do you expect will appear in this that we haven't seen already? And if you have enjoyed today's video, then please hit that like button. It helps the algorithm and it helps us more importantly. And if you have enjoyed what we're doing here on Route 1, then please hit the subscribe button. And also, if you fancy, hit that notification bell. Or if you don't want to do any of those things, Thank you very much for watching anyway. But that is going to be it from me. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you soon.